Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the second bowl game here in this series. And here we are in season four, eight and five, after upsetting the number one team in the nation. And now we face Arkansas State, one of the New Year Bowls this year. Now, Michael Jones is their quarterback. He leads their team in rushing and passing. Obviously, he's a quarterback. But it's surprising to see a quarterback lead their team in rushing and almost an 1,000-yard rusher at that, nine touchdowns too. And they have a pretty well-rounded receiving core and a well-rounded defense. I mean, this is a team that isn't bad, isn't great either, but they just find a way to win. This is a team, a real true team that has willed together a lot of seniors that are starting this year and came together for an 8-4 record in the Sun Belt. So here's the opening kickoff, but here is Harris. Look at this. He drops the opening kickoff and rolls over his own teammates and gets downed at the one. Take a look. He bobbles it, picks it up, and his teammates try to fall on it. And look at this. He trips over them and rolls over outside of the end zone. I have never, ever seen that in this game. And now Arkansas State starts at the one. Handoff Williams, and he does get a little bit of room. Brian York couldn't get in the backfield in time. And now they eventually get it to a third and eight. Handoff to the fullback. Fowler picks up seven, but needed eight. It's a tackle by York again. And we get the opening punt. But look at this field position we already start out with at the 30. So we come out here with five wide receivers. Phoenix Frazier throws across the middle. It's Ethan Andrews. And he's got it inside the 10. Gain of 24 yards. First down for the tight end and remember he's about a four string tight end but he gets in at receiver a lot as Deion Carter gets his first handoff of the game that's a gain of five yards so now inside the five now Hollinson checks in for a third and goal handoff to the left side and he takes it in it's a touchdown two yards out and the River Cats take the seven nothing lead as out comes Arkansas State Finally, not pressed up against the goal line as here's Jones trying to get rid of it on the first pass, but he gets hit, and that is incomplete. That was Jermaine Neal on the pressure. So second and 10 this time, Williams handoff, and he gets up field, and that's a gain of 14, first down. Now in that last play, Jermaine Neal was in at end. Preston Kinney is now in. Those two will be competing for that end position next year as they throw to left side, and it's Joe Harris who's got it on the sideline. Gain of 13 yards and a first down. So now running Williams in motion this time. Jones has been clean this drive. Throw, it's Harris again. He's got a lot of room and tackled at about the 20 yard line. Gain of 27, first down for them. And now they're looking good on their second drive. So here's a draw play this time. Williams gets away from J.J. Taylor. It gets up field and breaks the tackle and finally gets brought down by Brian York, but it's a gain of nine yards. So third and one, we have a chance to hold them to three this time. Here is a read option. Jones keeps, and he runs in. His 10th touchdown of the season running the ball. 11 yards out, and they tie the game up here. And it looks like this is going to be a pretty even matchup. So here are the River Cats back onto the field. Counterplay to left side. It's going to be about a gain of eight for Deion Carter as he gets upfield. He's playing in his final game as a River Cat, as well as Phoenix Frazier. So he drops back and throws across the middle. Adrian West, he drops it. That was an easy first down catch. And he is playing in his final game as a River Cat. And we had to pump the ball away. So here's Jones back onto the field. He throws deep. And it's picked off. That's Brian Britt. And he has another interception. Back-to-back -back games with interceptions for him. Remember, he was our defensive MVP last year. It looks like coming down the stretch, he's having himself an awesome finish to this season. And now we have the possession right back at our own 40. So it looks like we have the jet sweep lined up to start it out, but no, we're gonna change it to a deep pass. Here's Frazier, he dumps it off though, and it's Carter who gets hit hard. That's a gain of three out of the backfield. That's the element of the game we were missing when he was injured. So Hollinson checks in, handoff to the right side, nice blocking, and he trips. Oh man, he could have took that one a long way, 
If he, he had the blocking right there, they are two guys out there, and Hollinson is a little bit shaken up. So we come out here with four wide. Frazier from the pocket. He's going to throw, and it's almost picked off. Nice play by Drew Austin on their defense. And another punt. So here comes Jones back on offense. They have three wide receivers out to the right side and a running back next to Jones as that is Eddie Williams as Jones throws deep on the first pass. And he's got Byers, who's going to break free, beating the senior Kyron Favors. It's a touchdown, 75 yards, and it's going to be a score. And now 14-7. to seven. So here is Joe Bashai checking in. He's going to be kind of a third down back in the future as well, along with maybe another Wyatt coming in, Jamal Wyatt. Those two are going to compete for that third down back, that receiving back type of role next season, as we're going to have probably a three-back rotation with Jamari Tyson, who got redshirted this year. He is a power back, a really, really powerful back. And then obviously Hollinson. And then really who's going to be that third down back, that receiving back out of the backfield. Hollinson isn't much of a receiver, so we're going to need to kind of shore up that position as well. So we start the second quarter here. Frazier from the shotgun. He's going to throw it to the right side. And it's picked off by Harris. And was he just on offense and now he's on defense? So he was torching us in the slot. And he gets an interception too. And now Arkansas State takes back over. 14-7 lead. you got to be kidding me. So there is Harris right there in the slot. Jones. Moves in the pocket, and he throws to him, and he's got him on the sideline. Gain of 16. Joe Harris for Arkansas State playing both sides of the ball. He comes up with the interception, and he's their leading receiver so far. So here is Byers. He gets a pass across the middle, and he picks up a gain of 19. Arkansas State looks good so far here in the first half. So now they line up with three wide receivers to the left side. It looks like they might try to run an option, but no, they don't. Jones throws across the middle. He's got Williams inside the five. First down, Eddie Williams, gain of 19. And now Arkansas State is threatening to score as now they're at about the five. Read options to the right side. Jones keeps, and it's a nice tackle by the junior, Ja'Cory Reed. And he only gets a gain of one, Michael Jones does is now third and goal under center this time. Let's see what Jones can do. He runs the tight end in motion. He's gonna pitch out to Eddie Williams. That's actually Baker, and he gets hit hard in the backfield. Brian York and Bryant Britt were there, and that's a loss of one yard, and they settle for three points. So here's Brian Britt back to receive the next kickoff, and he drops it. That's two kickoffs dropped in this game. I've never seen that. And now we start this game at the six yard line, this drive. So here is Frazier moving out to the right side. He throws that way and he's got the senior. That is Andre Booker. Gain of 19 yards for him and a first down. So now first and 10 at about our own 25 handoff. It's Carter, he gets room and he picks up about a gain of 12, 13 yards. First down for him. And now this drive continues as we line up with two running backs in the backfield in the pistol formation as Frazier moves to the right side. Nobody's home on the spy, and he's going to take it himself and dive forward. And it's about a gain of 13 again. First down for him. He's already got 32 yards rushing. So we eventually get it across the 50-yard line. Jacob Drackett checks in. He's the Wildcat quarterback, and he throws on the run, and it's incomplete. He was looking for TC3 who still looks a little bit hobbled. TC3 hasn't really made an impact since coming back from injury, so he hasn't played too much, but also he just doesn't look like the same player. His injury is definitely affecting him. So a second down pass, and there is another throwaway. This Arkansas State defense is actually really, really good. So Phineas Frazier starts out this game 4-13. Gunnar Johnson checks into the game. He throws, and it's Andre Booker, and he picks up a gain of nine. And you got to figure we're going to go for this. This is a four down territory as Johnson stays in the game. Five hours here is out there. We snap the ball. Johnson sees nobody open and he takes it to the left side. He's got room first down and more. And he gets pushed out of bounds at about the 20 yard line gain of 20 first down for him. You got to figure he 
in Jamal Wilson will be in the running for that starting quarterback next year. I don't know who it's going to be, but it's probably going to be between them and Ty Featherstone. Just watch out for Ty Featherstone. He's probably the best pure passer on the team, but Gunnar Johnson has the experience. So here's Hollinson this time, handoff up the middle, and he gets inside the five-yard line, gain of 11 yards, first down again. So this drive does continue now, close to the two-minute mark as we hand off once again to Hollinson. And he gets in for the touchdown, two yards out. Hollinson making it look easy. It's 14 to 17. This is gonna be a close game till the end, I bet. So here is Mark Jones back out onto the field. That quarterback, he runs his running back in motion, throws left side, and he's got his man Shane Royal on the sideline. Gain of six yards, they move the chains on that throw. So under two minutes left now. Here is Jones. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got Harris again. Harris is lighting us up this game. And remember, he is a senior as well. And he picks up about a gain of 12. So now first and 10 across the 50 now. The clock continues to run. They have two timeouts left. Jones throws deep, one-on-one. -on -one, and it's going to be picked off once again. Bryant's Britt, his second pick of the game, his third in two games. And he takes it back to the 35-yard line. And Bryant Britt has come to play here. Remember, he's only a sophomore. He's probably going to be here another two years, maybe even just one more year if he makes enough to go to the NFL. So here we are, back out onto the field. Gunnar Johnson is still in the game. Here's Ethan Andrews. He throws to the right side, and he's got a gain of 12 for him. First down. So Frazier must have been shaken up a little bit. He checks back in now. He moves to the right side, tries to buy some time. Throws to nobody, incomplete. And you can just see this Arkansas State secondary is actually really good. So now four wide receivers out there. Frazier throws across the middle. He's got Collier the third and drops it. So, wow. I mean, like I said, TC3 is not the same player since coming back from injury. I definitely am looking forward to him next year because right now this does not seem like he's making the same impact he used to have. So here is Jones back on the next drive and just trying to get some more points on the board. And it seems like that is going to be the end of the first half. We get one more shot here at the end zone with one second left at about the 50-yard line. We just line up for our verticals here. And Frazier, he's going to try to throw it as deep as he can. He is going to find Carter up the seam, but it's a tackle inside the 15-yard line. Gain of 38. But well, this is a close one, 14 to 17. Both secondaries are doing really well in the second half. Should be a close finish. See you there. So here we go to start the second half. Deion Carter lined up to get the ball to start it out. He is going to get it. Handoff. Carter cuts back. And he picks up about a gain of eight yards. And that's a nice game. Deion Carter's run the ball well so far. Nine carries, 50 yards in his final game. So here's Carter once again, second and two, handoff. He's got a nice hole. He does hit it hard. Gain of seven yards, a first down. And now we're in business. As now we're at about the 42-yard line. Four wide receivers out there. Frazier gets flushed out of the pocket. He tries to buy some time and throw on the run. And it's Hollinson. He's got it. And that is about a gain of 16 yards. First down for him. That's about 18 yards, actually. And Hollinson, if he can work on his hands in the offseason, he's going to be a dynamic running back. So here's a throw across the middle. It's Adrian West again, and he drops it. Adrian West has not been the same the last couple of games. He's had a few drops. So now third and 10, Frazier moves. He throws to the sideline. He's got Isaiah Ford, the senior tight end. Nice to see him get a catch in his final game. He's got on the sideline and a first down. So now first and 10 this time, Frazier throws to the right side, and he's got Andre Booker. And it's a gain of 16 that time, first and goal. So now here we are in the uh, inside the 10. Handoff, Carter up the middle, and he picks up about a gain of four yards. And it looks like Carter will be all right after that hit, and Hollinson Doe checks into the game. Frazier moves to the right side, tries to buy some time, stops, throws to Gonzalvo. It's a touchdown, five yards out and St. Louis State will take the lead. 
Remember, this is kind of like a rivalry because there's two states, Missouri and Arkansas, playing up against each other, and it's the battle of the states, St. Louis State, Arkansas State. So 21 to 17. Now here's Jones. He throws across to the right side, and he's just going to throw this one away. He's already got two interceptions in this game, so the pressure, if it gets to him, he could throw another pick. So here's Jones, another throw. He gets hit on the throw. Perfect execution on that one, though. Shane Royals got it. Gain of 16, first down for him. So here is Jones now, parked at about the 44-yard line here. We send some more pressure throw to the right side. He's got Darby, who keeps his feet in bounds. Gain of four yards, tackled by the senior, Javon Warren, and the captain. So now third and six, this time Jones. He's gonna throw across the middle, and it's a perfect touch pass, and it's Baker again. He's got it out of the backfield, first down. And now they're inside a field goal range, but down four points. They need a touchdown. Jones, we're sending some pressure from the safety position. He finds Darby as tight end, who does fall forward to about the 10-yard line. And now Arkansas State, another good drive. So now they come out here first and 10. Williams checks back into the game. Jones throws to the right side, and it's almost picked off. Jacob Drackett could have had that pass. And now they line up for a second and 10. You're giving them a second string of life here as Jones from the pocket. He gets sacked. And that is going to be Cecil Moore playing in his final game. And there he is getting in for the sack. And now third and 18. Let's see what they run as Jones just dumps it off. And it's Byers, and he won't get back to about the nine-yard line or so. And now they're going to set up for three. It's 21 to 20 here midway through the third quarter. So here's a quick throw across the middle, and that's Jonathan Halka who gets in in his final game. Gain of 16 for him, first down. Good to see him get going. He hasn't been active since season one, but he did have a touchdown earlier this year. So here is Hollinson, a hand handoff up the middle. It looks like it's going to be a flag, so this one will be coming back. So now we get it to a third and 18 this time. Frazier from the pocket, five wide out there. He's got all day, but he throws at the last second, and it's looking for TC3 across the middle, and it's going to be incomplete. And now Arkansas State has possession right back. So now this third quarter winds down here, and Jones has looked better here in the second half, but he has thrown two interceptions. He throws out to Byers again, who's been busy, and he picks up a gain of 15 yards. Another first down here for this Arkansas State offense. They've been just moving the ball in every single drive, just little gain by little gain. And now they're across to 50 as he start the fourth quarter. Jones facing some pressure. He just throws this one deep, and it's thrown out of bounds. And nice pressure by the cornerback that time. And now third and eight. We send Leon Christopher on the blitz. It gets picked up. Jones throws, and it's caught by Royal, who cuts up field two to about the 21-yard line gain of 20. And Arkansas State, it looks like they've been handling the blitzes pretty well in this one. As now here's Jones once again. He throws to the left side, and it's just going to be thrown out of bounds. Our pressure is getting there, just not getting the sacks. And Jones is just smartly throwing it away. So here's a dump ball pass on a third and 10. Leon Christopher does get the tackle, and that's Eddie Williams' gain of three yards. But it looks like they're going to settle for another field goal. It's 23 to 21. So they kick this one deep this time. It's Bryant Britt back to receive this one. He does hold on to this, but he gets down the left sideline, picks up a couple of blocks, and gets pushed out of bounds at about the 45-yard line. Okay, so good field position to start out this next drive. So seven minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Handoff, Hollinson, he's got it up the middle. Gain of 11, first down for him. The future of our backfield. He's got two touchdowns as well so far. So we do get it with uh, across the 50-yard line now. Running Carter in motion, five wide now. Frazier in the pocket, and he gets sacked. He kind of just falls asleep on that play. Loss of nine yards, Drew Austin gets to him. So now third and 16, Frazier. From the pocket, he throws, and it's caught. Gonzalvo, 17 yards, first down. A clutch play by Gonzalvo getting open. That was a perfect play call. So five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Throw, 
And that's Adrian West's third drop in this game. I don't know what's going on with him. And now third and 10, throw. Jonathan Houck has got it, a lot of room, but he coughs it up and it's picked up by Arkansas State and they forced the turnover as we were going into field goal range. Jonathan Houck playing in his final game. He was open and then just gets hit hard and it just gets popped loose. And that is a devastating play on that one as Arkansas State has a two point lead and possession. So here is Jones, he throws to the left side in traffic and that is knocked away and that is Bumaye in the coverage. So Derek Bumaye has took over in the slot about four or five games ago. Is now they line up here third and five, throw across the middle, it's Williams out of the backfield, he's got it. And that's a first down, gain of 14 yards for him. And now they move the chains now, first and 10 throw across the middle, it's Holland who gets swung, swung around and that's Bamaye again on the tackle, gain of eight yards. So now set up here with a third and six. This is our stop here, we gotta make it. Here's a throw, Holland again. He's got it first down and more across the 50 yard line, gain of 18. And now Arkansas State looking like they're gonna put together one final drive to ice this one out. So under three minutes left here, here is Jones. From the pocket he throws, the left side. And just these short little passes, they do wear our defense down over time. Another gain of six. So now they waste the time all the way down. Third and four. Jones in the pocket is gonna get sacked. And that is Cecil Moore, his second sack of the game. And Jones makes a mistake. He maybe could have took off on that one. And now we get the punt back with under two minutes left. Do we have one more final drive by Phoenix Frazier? So here is TC3, he finally gets going, and that's a first down, his first catch of the game. That's a gain of eight. So here is Frazier now, a minute and a half left, keeping it going, throw, it's Adrian West. He's finally got this one, and he gets hit hard. It's a gain of nine. We're gonna keep hurrying up this offense. So a minute 10 now, second and one, quick throw. TC3, can he get out of bounds? He can't, but it's a gain of four, so he hurried up to the line. So the clock stops. So first and 10 now at about the 50 yard line, just about, Frazier moves, he throws, and he's got Tyson Steele, he steps out of bounds. But it's a gain of 14 yards. Remember, we're only down two, we only need three. So here is Frazier now, from the pocket, five wide again, he throws to the right side, it's Gonzalvo who steps out of bounds. It's a gain of 10 yards though, in another second in inches now as we get it to about the 26 yard line, just about as we hand off. Hollinson, he's inside a field goal range now. That should set us up for a nice field goal. So we decide to bring in Chris Stops Ivanov for the game winning field goal. This time does wind down. The kick is up and it is good. The River Cats are undefeated in bowl games as we make the fourth quarter comeback versus Arkansas State. That big time sack by Cecil Moore, and that's how this one ends. What a season it's been. We get to nine wins on the year, nine and five to be exact, and Arkansas State could not keep up. They did throw a couple of interceptions, and that's what ended up being the difference. I thought that when Halka fumbled that ball at the end of the game, I didn't think we had a chance. I thought they were gonna drive down the field and score again to ice the game. But our defense showed some hearts. Cecil Moore playing in his final game, got a sack to seal it up to give us possession right back. Phoenix Frazier had a decent game. It wasn't great, but he did lead that game winning drive. What a career it's been for him. Deion Carter, 11 for 61. He had a good game catching the ball and running the ball. Hollinson though, he scored both touchdowns on the ground. And I'm gonna miss a lot of these seniors. I gotta admit it. Gonzalvo returns for his senior year though. He had a touchdown in this one. Booker is going to be leaving. Carter is gonna be leaving. Halka is gonna be leaving. Isaiah Ford, Adrian West, so many guys that have been with us since day one. Kind of sad, but we send them off with a victory and a conference championship. Javon Warren led our team in sacks. The captain is now going to be graduating and moving on to the NFL. We'll see how well he does in the NFL. If you haven't checked out my Oklahoma Buffaloes 
franchise. Check that out. I'm going to feature guys from this series. It doesn't really line up chronologically except uh, by the years, you know, because we're in 2030 plus, and that starts in 2020, but I'm still going to do it anyway. Nate Byers on their end had five receptions, 140 yards, and a touchdown. He led their team, but it came up just short as the River Cats get the win. So Andre Booker actually finishes with the all-time receptions leader, 217 in his career. I think that's a very easy number to beat. So I'm guessing that the next wave of receiver, I don't know who it will be, might break that one. And then Phoenix Frazier finishes the all-time passer in school history, which is pretty cool to see that. So we finished 9-5 and five on top of the conference, and this was a great season. The first season we've had where we won a championship, obviously, and a bowl game all in one season. You can just see our career record is 20-31. and 31. So we're creeping up on 500 just about. Our record versus top 25 is 3-10. and 10. And believe it or not, all three of those wins have come from top five teams. That's incredible. As we look forward to the offseason, I want to do a season recap because I want to look back at how our players have done over the past four years and look ahead to a new wave of talent coming to the squad. We have a lot of talented freshmen, a lot of ones that are going to be sophomores, and then we have a couple of seniors who have been there through the journey as well that I want to see going into their senior year like Gonzalvo, uh, like Ja'Cory Reed, guys like that. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned, let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute. The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it. The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition. But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention. It don't matter though. Yeah. And it don't even matter though. Nope.